Hi, this is Ron Watson. I've got a voltmeter here, digital voltmeter. Got lots of interesting features on it. Now let's just see what all comes in the box. Here's the voltmeter that comes in the box. And you can see the case has on the back, it's got a stand that pops out like that. So you can stand it up while you're working on things and take a look at, at what the meter is telling you. And in the top of it is a battery compartment. Uh, in the front, it's uh, good to know what you're doing there because you, there's, <laughs> well, you can see here. Now that is AC volts. Got a little curly cue over the volts, okay? Over here is DC volts, straight bar over the volts. Up here is ohms. Over here is amps, okay? And you need to pay attention to what you're doing with all those little buttons in there and know what you're doing. Now it does forgive you because if you do an over voltage, like for example, you go into 240 volts and you've got it set on the 200 volt range, then it'll just say a one up here and then you'll go to the next range higher and then it'll give you the actual voltage. Or if you're, uh, you're on 110 and you're on the 20 volt range, for example, uh, the 110, it'll just say one and then you flip it over to the 200 volt range and voila, you know, you got the, you got the right voltage. Um, so it'll show you that it's pretty forgiving in that area. And it comes with a, a little instruction booklet, which is, which is quite helpful for the most part. It gives you a, a lot of details of what you can do in here. I mean, you can do everything from testing diodes to LEDs to uh, volts to ohms to Amperage, there's continuity test, um, there's a whole bunch of different things. Let me show you the, oh, here's the leads. And here's the, the plug-ins, the way they go into the, directly into the meter. So I plug those in into the common and the volt ohm part here so you can see that. There we go. See, and they're plugged in there. And on the other end are just your typical probe leads, okay? So, let's try some of the different functions it does. I'll show you how it works. Okay, so here we've got it set up. We've got the common plugged in, black, common, and red on the volt and ohm part of the thing. And let's just go ahead and, and try some volts here. Now, they tell you if you're on too low a range like this on 200 millivolts, that it should just give you a 1. So, we're going to overdo it with a 9-volt battery, and you can see there's a 1. Okay, and we'll just hold that in place where that's there. We we'll go up to the two volt range, still a one. We'll go up to the 20 volt range. And there you can see that battery's got 9.59 volts on it. Okay, so that worked just exactly like they said. Uh, some interesting stuff you can do. I've also tested the 120 and 240, that works perfectly. Now here's a diode, okay? And if you put the P part in the P and the N part in the upper, the double E's on the far right here, and you can test your diode to see whether it's working. These are low level uh, LEDs, and you can see that one lights up just fine. And uh, here's a, a clear diode, you know, or LED. And uh, so I just plug that one in there. Ta-da! You know, you got a nice little light there so you can see that that diode's healthy and working. And here's another little LED, a uh, little low, low level one, see. So that works just perfect. And, uh, and then there's also a test here where you're doing like this, for example. Uh, this is a, a way of checking continuity. So if we cross the leads here, you hear that? So there's a buzzer in there. So you can tell from the buzzer when you've got a short. Anything lower than 50 ohms will trigger it. And uh, unfortunately, the diodes, nothing else will trigger it. But if you've got continuity and you're testing wires, there you go. You know, you can hear that, that noise in the background. So that's a good thing to do. And uh, there's diode testing. There's uh, AC volts, DC volts. Um, 
there are amperage testing around in here. You plug in a transistor to test out your uh, HFE and your transistor. Uh, it times out if you leave it on for too long. It'll just turn itself off so it won't kill the battery. Now one thing you're going to have to do is in the back here there is a battery compartment and the first thing you're going to have to do is take that a compartment off and put in a brand new 9 volt battery because it's empty. It does not ship with batteries. So get yourself a 9 volt battery, put it in there, screw that back together again because you're going to need that. Now uh, what I should have done I guess was sat the thing up uh, <laughs> like that so it'd be a little easier to see but I wanted you to see what I was, was testing as well. And again, you know, there's the, see, there's the buzz and it's a zero continuity kind of thing. So overall, I mean, it's a really nice meter. You've got these, these two nice leads with the thing. Um, there is a, a one uh, test here that there's a little black triangle right here. And this black triangle right here, if you take this lead, the black lead, and hold that in your fingers and take the red lead and plug it into a power socket. It will give you a little black triangle here when you uh, touch the hot side. If you're touching the ground side, there will be no triangle. But if you're touching the hot side, you'll get a triangle. So you can tell whether a lead has power on it or not by just doing this. Hold the black and touch it with the red. Uh, and that's with them plugged in into the volt ohm and the common. And don't follow their instructions because they kind of tell you to hold the metal while you're touching it. You don't want to do that. Just touch that black lead and then use this to touch the, the hot part and you'll get that little black triangle right there in the corner and you can see whether a lead is hot. And that's important for you to know because the instructions are wrong on that. Okay. So now you've seen a lot of the things it does, and I just barely touched on what all this will do. It's quite a nice, high-quality meter. I really like this thing. This is pretty cool. Now, just to be sure uh, of its accuracy, make sure I wasn't screwing things up, I took another meter and compared them to this, and they were almost spot-on all the way through in all the measurements. So the, I had a, the meter I knew worked because it's my own meter, the one I've been using for a long time. And this new guy is doing exactly the same things, but he's easier to read because i much got a much bigger display and it's a protected display. And my other meter, if I tried the 20 volt range and I plugged it into a 110 volt outlet, I'd burn the meter out. It is just not designed like this one is for that kind of protection. And I couldn't test diodes in my other one. I uh, couldn't test transistors. Uh, number of different things. So this is a pretty cool meter. I mean, it's a nice package. And if you don't have a good volt ohm meter and one that'll test your diodes and test uh, continuity and, and things like that, and by all means, you know, testing uh, LEDs in here, I thought that was really cool. If you don't have one already, you owe it to yourself to get one of these. Thumbs up. I like it.